Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And that's right, you see three figures in front of me. This is an Action Force Gemini. It's got the mask piece from Junkyard and Mutt. And I think it kind of enhanced the figure a little bit. I kind of like it. I like the way it looks. This is my uh, Action Force figure with my se selfie series head from Hasbro. So that's kind of like how I made myself kind of tactical. And then of course I did this custom G.I. Joe with the flocked head to make him look like that classic adventure team figure so anyways i'm always looking for something different to show off and this is no different this is from fresh monkey fiction it is uh operation monster force this is the blood prince dracula it was available at joe fest and basically just came in a bag with like this little label like st uh, stuck on the top so we're going to open it up and take a closer look because this may be the first fresh monkey fiction figure that you're able to get in your hands because uh, I think we've been looking forward to those um, figures that they have coming out for a while. They have partnered with Gridiron Prop Studios Props for the weapons and accessories and stuff like so that. So it comes with extra head, extra hands, a stand, and the figure. Let's. All right, so this is the Blood Prince Dracula from Fresh Monkey Fiction. You can see that it's got that translucent prop plastic and stuff like that. Did come with some extra hands. It came with a stand and it came with an extra head. Now I did pose it up and I did change some of the hands around and uh, I'll just show you some of the articulation. We're gonna just take that out of his hand. So let's take a look at this uh, Blood Prince Dracula. So this is the one where he's got his teeth out. You can see his head sculpt there, looks pretty decent. He's got this like nice jacket with um, the vest and stuff like that. So he looks kind of old fashioned like like Dracula from that Dracula time. And this is a translucent, like soft plastic, which is kind of nice. And the rest of it is all kind of like a harder plastic, but it still feels like your regular action figure plastic. It doesn't feel like that brittle plastic at all. So um, changing the head was a little bit difficult because I kind of had to hold the neck in place to pull the head off. Otherwise the little neck joint popped out really, really easily. And um, I had to reseat that. So I'm gonna put the, this other head back on just so you can see this other head sculpt, which is the regular one. And it looks pretty decent. I kind of like it. Looks pretty good. Now he's got really good articulation because he's got that butterfly joint right here. He's got the uh, double jointed elbows right here. He's got the double jointed knees um, here. He's got that upper thigh. He's got his foot. Uh, his, his hands move and come off and then he's got this upper arm motion now here's where it gets a little bit difficult so he does have that swivel in the waist and he does have an ab crunch but check this out when you do the ab crunch he just pulls apart so that's not really that good of a thing hold on one of the things is you can easily just pull the arms out there's like really no um, ball pegs on the ends of those arms. So they just come out of the torso. And then there's like a little button right here that unsnaps. So I'm gonna pull the head off and it comes off easily with the neck. And then you can just take the torso out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you that you can push the torso, or at least on this one, that ab crunch goes into the torso and it fits and it's snug unless you pull on it. Uh, I don't know why it keeps doing that, but like I say you have it here and you want it to do like a motion like that, you can see how easily it pops out no matter how hard. Now this is a little bit of a, a brittle and I don't know if this cutout has enough cutout for this to fully like seat in there. I might be like too narrow is what the problem is. But anyways, that's what's happening with this. So fortunately though, with that jacket on, it does kind of hold these two pieces together, but I don't think that it should be that way. Let me reassemble this guy. All right. <clears throat> so the detailing is really good on this figure uh, overall. That ab crunch piece um, is really the biggest uh, downfall of this figure with the uh, just popping out now all the pieces are easy to separate like the foot because they don't have any real ball or whatever to hold them in place so there's no boil and pop necessary to like disassemble this guy he basically just easily just 
pops apart. Even switching the hands was super easy. The hardest part was trying to figure out how to get the sword into the hand because this plastic right here did feel kind of brittle and the hands felt a little bit brittle. I can feel some play in there, but I went with this hand right here just because it was the easiest one to get the sword in. But he does look cool, all posed up with this sword, sort of a Dracula mode, and I kind of dig it. Got one other thing I'm going to do. Hold on. So I got my light that I was using, but what I want to do is I'm just going to put it right under the stand. It's kind of like those uh, Star Wars ones where the light doesn't really get all the way to the top. But still, I thought it looked pretty cool, so I thought I would show it off with that light shining up from the bottom. And uh, there he is. There is the Blood Prince uh, from Fresh Monkey Fiction. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, um, one last note after posing this guy around just a little bit. I noticed that this is happening to the coat. Um, it has come loose. I can't get that button to fit back in and the plastic is tearing. So even though it looks really cool, this is not something you could be like really doing a lot of posing and stuff with because a lot of it just seems a little bit too fragile. Okay, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you looking for, forward to more of their stuff? And does this thing look cool? And uh, are you gonna pick it up? All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it, and as always, have a fantastic day.